My name is Michelle, and before I tell you my story, I would like to share with you a little anecdote about expectations. And it goes like this. There was a woman who fell on hard times, and she decided that the answer to all her troubles would be to win the lottery. So she prayed to God and bargained with him, assuring him that if she won, she would do wonderful things with the winnings. And this went on for weeks, praying, promising, asking God, why, why can't I win the lottery? And finally, she was so frustrated, she stepped into her little neighborhood church and prayed to God, why haven't you answered my prayers? I've been waiting to win the lottery. And suddenly, a voice came from above and said, I've heard you, but I've been waiting for you to buy the ticket. So how does this pertain to my story? Well, sometimes we miss the opportunity to purchase that ticket because we get so caught up in our own little script or expectation of how things could or should be. My story being, in 2009, my husband was offered a job over in Waikiki to build a hotel. We were very excited to get back to Hawaii again, but I fantasized that we were somehow going to live in this darling little hula hut in the middle of the Hawaiian jungle. That was not really practical because the job, the hotel, was based in Waikiki. Bluebirds fly So in the middle of this bustling city of tourism, Michael and I were lucky enough to find a beautiful condominium on the 33rd floor of a high rise directly across the street from his job. And as you can see, it was beautiful. Who could ask for more? But at the same time, I couldn't help thinking that there was a certain anonymity in the middle of this city It was hard to make friends. I kind of missed having a yard. I was wondering where the mangoes and the geckos were. And so I finally surrendered to the fact that this was a beautiful opportunity to see Waikiki. And I let loose of the little hula hut fantasy. Seven months later, we received a bit of an alarming phone call from our property manager telling us that the owners of our beautiful condo were flying in during the Christmas holiday for six weeks and that we would need to vacate the premises and find somewhere else to live. That created a lot of panic and a lot of scrambling and it's almost impossible to find something for six weeks for that particular time frame furnished in the middle of the holiday season. But thanks to Craigslist, I found a cute little ad saying, Christmas at the Casa. So Michael and I got in the car, went over the Poly Highway, and ended up in the beautiful section of Oahu called Lanikai. And as we pulled up to the property, we could see that the grounds were like a little jungle. There was banana trees and flowers, mango trees, and way in the back was a little cottage. And it wasn't until the next morning, after we had taken the property, and Michael had scooted off to work 45 minutes away, I was looking out the window in the soft tropical rain. I realized, oh my goodness, 
This was my fantasy. This was our lottery ticket. And amongst the geckos, and the resident cat, and the mango trees, my little fantasy had been fulfilled for six weeks, but it afforded me the opportunity to make lifelong friends. My landlady, the neighbors, and it just proved it is important to be open-minded when it comes to expectations because sometimes the powers that be have something much better for you in mind. Like a lemon drops high above the chimney top that's where